You're listening to B2B Tech Talk with Ingram Micro, a place to learn about how to grow your business and stay ahead of technological advances before they become mainstream. This episode is sponsored by Ingram Micro's Financial Solutions, where we talk about tapping into new markets and how to get customers to say yes. Let's get into it. Hello, and thank you for joining B2B Tech Talk. I'm your host, Melanie Delvell, and I'm here joined today with Paul Hager, Ingram Micro's new VP of services. So Paul, thank you for joining. Thanks, Melanie. How are you? Good, good. Excited to be able to have a conversation with you today. I've had the pleasure of knowing you over the past few years, and I'd love it if you could take a moment and introduce yourself to our audience so that they can get to know you. Yeah, great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Paul Hager. I was the owner of a company called Information Technology Professionals, or ITP. We were an MSP. Uh, I bought that MSP, grew it over the course of about 10 years, sold it to Copio dealer in the Midwest, uh, and it was rebranded as Alevity. I've had you know, the good fortune of being part of Ingram communities for almost all of those 10 years I owned that business. Was there the day they kind of created SMB Alliance and eventually became the SMB Alliance president under Darren Gottesman. And I've uh, really enjoyed my time in that community. Ultimately, at one of those SMB Alliance events, uh, some people saw me speak on managed services and how to build a successful managed service provider company. And it started a conversation around the possibility of uh, joining Ingram Micro. And I thought I knew it well, thought I knew everything Ingram did, and uh, then got into the role and learned a lot more. But get to work with great people like you, Melanie, who I've, I've known for a long time, and that makes it a joy to, to come to work. And honestly, that's fantastic. And I couldn't be more excited to hear that you were joining our organization. I think you've got a lot of great things to bring to the table. And that SMB event, you know, hearing you speak on stage really inspired me in the messaging that you shared. And it really was focused around helping build a good, successful business for our partners, right? How can we focus on some of those things, including building a stack and making sure that they operationalize and they could be effective in how they go to market. And and that really just, you know, solidified how amazing your thought process is, especially bringing that perspective from being a managed service provider into Ingram. So for our audience here, I think it would be great if you could maybe just talk to us a little bit about how critical it is to build those bundled service offerings for our partners and what it could really do for their business. Yeah, it's it's really as critical as you're building a service provider organization. You you can't be all things to all people. And so that puts too much strain operationally on your business, uh, too much strain on your technical talent to uh, know and learn all things. Uh, your sales team loses confidence when you're not able to repeatedly sell the same project with a high degree of success. It just it ripples through your business if you're not consistent, which means it uh, that can feel almost counterintuitive at times. You would want to say yes to everything. And in reality, you have to be really disciplined. And so if what you offer then has to be this really critical discipline, then the process by which you get there needs to be pretty rigorous as well. And that's kind of why I spoke on uh, that day. And I, I still talk to MSPs today is how do you go through the process of vetting and ultimately building your solution stacks? Uh, and a really key part of that is bringing together disparate solutions. And you know, part of our partner's role is bringing together different types of transactions, right? So whether that be hardware, software, cloud services, and then your own sauce, right? Your own services and value into that mix. And you make that all into one service offering. Uh, we have a lot of names. We love to call everything a managed service today. We could talk for a whole episode about what managed services is or is not. But uh, to me, at its core, it's when you can take things and people and solutions and put all of that into one bundled offering. And you're, you're decoupling it from a product per dollar or a person per hour and making it a true managed offering that delivers an outcome that is typically broken down into a monthly payment. Uh, and over my years uh, at Ingram, as you know, Melanie, we we got to work together and Ingram uh, worked with my companies to help make big CapEx transactions into OpEx line items for our customers. And so that was really successful for us. Now at Ingram, on the other side of the wall, I get to help lead one of our centers of excellence uh, in cybersecurity. 
uh, actually, I help with both, uh, also our data center, center of excellence. And what we're trying to do in that cybersecurity center of excellence is really help our partners define those solution stacks around security. Uh, and now we're in the process of developing those stacks and pulling it together. And I know that's part of your new role, Melanie, is to, again, continue to advance that possibility, make it easier for our partners to transact with us uh, in the way they transact with their end customers on a per month basis. Yeah. And so, you know, as you talk about that from the center of excellence and helping design those stacks, I think that has to really help the sales organization as well. So that the sales team's not, you know, using their time trying to create these, but they're able to take the value to their end customers and really be able to deliver change for their business. So I'd also think whether it's within Ingram Micro and the partners organization, creating those stacks can really help drive additional sales and revenue. Yeah, we call it we call it conquest sales. Uh, that's kind of the fun term of art, which is we're going to make this really great offering, and we're going to train those salespeople how to go convince the end customer that that is the right solution. You might have researched five, you might have Googled it, you might have done whatever, but whatever your ideas are for the six different ways to solve it, you're going to really empower your organization to deliver a solid message that this stack is well thought out. And this is the right complete solution for you and kind of overcome that, that research phase that we find our buyers are often in. And so, Paul, I know, you know, in our relationship over the past several years, you know, we've worked together as a partner and really helping leverage that financing. And, yeah. you know, in the words of Anthony Mackel, our CFO, right, partners who leverage financing are, are able to grow their business 25% more than those who don't. And, you know, what I thought was very interesting in, in our relationship is that, you know, your organization would do financing on balance sheet as well as help to offer end user financing for some of those solutions. So, you know, as I think about from the financial solutions lens, you use financing very different in different aspects of your business. And, Mm -hmm. you know, maybe it would be helpful to unpack for the audience, just maybe some of those pathways. And then I think after that, we can talk a little bit about how financing marries into those bundled offerings. Yeah, I think that'd be great. And I'd love for you to talk a little bit about your new role too, because I think that all ties in. But I'll, I'll take your first question first. What are the different avenues that we leveraged Ingram for? And what did we see the, the customer demand? So, First, let's get it off the table, right? We had to deliver leasing options, right? We had customers that wanted to buy large CapEx expenditures in hardware and software that were one time. Our services bundled along with it to deploy and bring to life that solution over a set defined time period, right? We're going to buy hardware, we're going to deploy it within 60 days, and we were going to close that business out. But the end customer wanted to pay that over time and have traditional leasing options, dollar buyouts, and fair market values. And what made that a better transaction for us with Ingram was that then didn't tie up our credit lines with Ingram, right? We had seven figure orders, which were pretty large orders for our organization. And Ingram was able to leverage their balance sheet, create that lease, you know, pay the underlying vendors, pay us our profit. I was even able to put it on my balance. You know, I was able to reflect that revenue and do revenue recognition. There was lots of really good collaboration and trust that comes from a large leasing engagement like that. Then we also leveraged some of the more creative financing options uh, that Ingram has been able to, to come up with, right? It's, it is more than leasing. There is managed services funding uh, that I know you've been able to do for some of my peers in the community where you're you know, funding that managed service contract upfront because we know Remember from my business, we just predicted we didn't make money on managed services for the first year. We were in it for the long tail. It's why we had 36 month agreements. That's that can be a real cash constraint on a business. And Ingram's financing has really unlocked the cash flow challenge for a lot of other partners uh, in our community. And then I, you know, also this direct express offering too has been really fantastic for some of our partners. And I know you came from that world and helped develop the success of those programs a lot. Uh, here at Ingram. But uh, tell us a little bit more about what you're doing in your new role as a part of the thing we're all talking about, which is us becoming a platform company in the context of Xvantage. 
Yeah, I appreciate that. And so when I look at my career, you know, at Ingram, I started in that credit analyst seat. So talking to our partners, understanding their business and and really helping them grow. And some of the most proud moments in my career is being able to help understand the challenges our partners are facing and provide them with different solutions. So you had mentioned a couple of them, but our direct express program is a lockbox solution. So it allows our partners to go after larger opportunities that their credit line would not usually support and really focus on driving that value for their end customer without having any constraints of credit capacity to deliver that. You know, we look at everything from that short-term lockbox solution to that long-term financing. And that could be what you had mentioned, that lease financing We look at partners who want to finance the technology themselves as part of the managed services agreement, as well as that end user financing. So over the past decade, I've really been fortunate to have a lot of conversations with our partners on what do they need and want in their business and how do they want to be able to deliver it. So I'm really excited this year to start as the director of digital financing as part of our Expantage team. So when you think about that buying experience that we have in the B2C space. If you were to go online and buy anything from a pair of shoes to a couch or an expensive bike, you have payment options, right? There's different third-party companies that are giving consumers a different way to pay for things. Our goal is to be able to take the technology space and give that digital click-to-buy experience so that it's no longer a secondary conversation of, my end user can't afford it or they have to downgrade the solution. I'm not sure if my bank line can support it. Right at the time that you're building the quote, as you're looking at those bundled solutions, we're giving you all of the payment options that you need right at the click of a button. So it's really exciting to be on this digital journey and give our partners all the tools and resources that they need to grow their business. Fantastic. Yeah, I think we all know that more digital, more B2C experiences in the B2B space is, is the future. It's what people want. And it's exciting time to be at Inger Micro to see the evolution that we're going through here internally uh, to become a platform company and have that approach. And I think your, your new role is just another sign of that investment by Inger Micro to continue that shift and continue that evolution. Absolutely. And that's why it's exciting to have you know each other in these journeys so that we can yeah. push and leverage our experiences. Exactly. So as our partners are listening today and, you know, taking your role in in services and bringing a lot of those best practices to Ingram Micro, what are some key takeaways that you'd like the listeners to be able to focus on when it comes to building their business, evaluating their service offerings? You know, what do you think is really critical for them to take away from this today? Yeah. So it's been a really exciting first four months. And for me, I got the opportunity to kind of play consultant with Ingram and now pull this group together of a lot of the great technology talent uh, that's been inside of Ingram Micro for years. So our technical talent, uh, at times we had in, in different parts of the business, and now we've unified it under our US services group. And it really shows just how much strength we have at Ingram in our knowledge of technology and solutions. And so you know, one, one takeaway I would have or one challenge I would have to partners listening is to Rethink distribution's role in your service and value chain. Bring us into things earlier, whether it be engaging our solution design team earlier, engaging with our COEs about what your stack should even be and what the offering is. Uh, and then thinking about us, you know, I think of it more as you think of us during the transaction, but we really want to be involved before the transaction and after. <laughs> we really want to be your complete business behind your brand and are, are striving to deliver that real end-to-end solution. So, you know, one of the areas that we have really strong capabilities in that I, I want to make sure our partners know is really solid and depth of experience when it comes to hybrid migration strategies. And I use the word hybrid and not just cloud, though we do have a lot of cloud knowledge inside our organization, meaning we have expertise in Azure and AWS and GCP. But I say hybrid because we also have expertise Uh, in assisting you to design that solution in advanced solutions like hyper-converged platforms and data center platforms across multiple vendors, right? We work with and get trained by the largest technology companies in the world. It is so hard for you as a solution provider to know everything about everything, to be certified in everything. Well, we've gone and done that for you. 
and I within my team have, you know, nearly a hundred public cloud certified technicians. That's a lot of resource available to our partners. And they're here for you. They're here for partners. And you can engage our team and we can help on the design phase, the assessment phase, help you obviously with the transaction, help you finance it, right? <laughs> and and put that into uh, and take that through the transaction process and then help you afterwards and actually do deployment uh, and even starting to build channel focused managed services around it as well. So you know, we're, we really want to be viewed as being a part of your whole life cycle of the deal and not just when you're ready to place the order because there's tremendous value that our technical teams can help uh, with. And a lot of those resources are, you know, just for being an Ingram partner, you get access to those. Or if you're in our communities like Trust XRS and the Alliance, you get access to a lot of these great resources. Uh, but we're here to help. And there's a lot of value that can be derived just in the assessment business alone. I mean, our partners should be charging for that. Your time is valuable. You should charge for your assessments. If you bring us in, we can add even more value and horsepower to your assessments. And that's just another place to make margin and to make revenue that both delivers an outcome to your end customer and clears the path for you to... It's a great test sale. It's a warm up and it's a validation that you've got a real end customer deal on the line. Because... You know, in my experience, customers didn't pay for assessments to not then do the big project, to not then do the transformation. And I think some of our partners are nervous either about the assessment capability or if the outcome of that assessment is that AWS is the right landing spot, but you don't have AWS talent, or the right landing spot is a complex hyper-converged installation and you don't have that talent. Again, that's why Ingram is here. We're going to be at your side. We can deliver for you. We can deliver with you and you can be shoulder to shoulder and learn and eventually replace us. That's okay. We're here to enable you in the channel wherever you're, you're at in your journey. Much like Ingram from a financial service perspective, they'll enable you in the financing front. And if you grow to a scale where you feel comfortable financing your own hardware inside of managed services, you know that's great. Uh, we hope you still involve us in the before and the after and the transaction piece along the way. You know, Paul, one of the things that we've talked about in some of our prior conversations is Ingram really operates as a neutral third party. So yep. our focus is really on driving that value for our partners and our business. And I think that's one of the critical pieces, especially as you go on this services journey is, you know, we're not focused on selling one particular vendor as one nope. part of a solution. It's really how do all of the components come together in that total step? Yeah. And I... That's what has me even more excited about what 2023 has in store. As we converge onto this platform of Xvantage, I can I know behind the scenes the work that is going into making the experience for our customers seamless and cohesive. So that multi-vendor, multi-product with financing, without financing, with services, all becomes a really positive purchasing journey. So it's, it should be a journey because we should be involved in, in the whole tale, not just the transaction, but we'll also make the transaction itself, I think, uniquely and competitively different than, than what you experience anywhere else. And I also appreciate what you said there about partners charging for their value, right? And so yeah. wearing my financial hat and we look at the channel and there's a lot of compressed margin when it comes to the hardware perspective, right? Making sure that they're really focused on where they can drive value in their business. So I, I think that's a really great insight for our partners to make sure that they focus on for 2023. Yeah, we all know that hardware itself is not where the most margin is. I don't think that's an earth-shattering secret uh, delivered on the, this podcast. Uh, it's in services. It's in more value and outcome-based solutions. Cloud and other areas tend to carry with it better margin. It's, it's the blend of all of that. You know, I had a, a sales rep that was very successful with me for a long time and he said, where there's mystery, there's margin. And I think that is as a something we've all had taught to us by some sales leader at some point in our lives. Could not be more true. Yeah, that's what we're all after. You know, podcast moment of honesty. We all want to make money at the end of the day, uh, return value to the businesses we work for uh, and or value to the business if you're the business owner. That's, yeah, that's what we're trying to, trying to drive towards. 
Absolutely. So one of the questions that we like to ask our guests is, where do they see technology going over the next year? And especially with you focused on services, as we go through a lot of transformation in the channel, love to get your thoughts on where do you see services going over the next 12 to 18 months? I think this could be the year of multi-cloud and hybrid cloud. We're not talking about one cloud environment uh, anymore. And that that's a new world. I think we didn't know where cloud adoption was going to go. Then we knew where it went. And we got into SaaS platforms and then we got into IaaS platforms. And I think we thought it would stop there, right? We would shift people to, to they would pick one of the, the major cloud providers and put their workloads there. And now the reality is we see every business having this multi-cloud and hybrid cloud strategy. So some data and workloads are best on-premise. Some are best in one public cloud, others in a software as a service solution, others in an infrastructure, others as a complete managed service delivered by a third party that could be leveraging in another public cloud provider. And so I think if, if I'm the modern partner today, I'm a little nervous about how much breadth will I have to have to be able to respond to the modern version of digital transformation that is going on. And I think the relief to that is, again, that neutral third party, that position that we have, uh, that we can be the home for that expertise for you. And when you bring us into deals and bring us into your value chain and your service delivery, you know that distribution isn't there to take deals from you, right? We still want you to buy your laptops from us and everything else. And we're Inger Micro. We're a you know a well-known brand, but if your end customer were to search us up on the internet, they're not going to find us competing for their business and you're not introducing competition into the market. And then lastly, we will always have uh, some aspect of partner to partner. And that's something I learned from Ingram and from a community perspective. I was a provider inside of the program we call I Am Link. I've used that program. And that was just one example of what happens in the channel when people meet each other, gain trust, they help solve each other's problems where they leverage each other's strengths. And so I think my challenge is to this group is to view Ingram as one of those other partners that were just like the friend that you meet uh, at your TrustX event. Uh, and we can be trusted to deliver for you and with you that we have reach that is national and international, and that should help you. And it should be something allow you to talk about national reach inside of your business because we're partners together. And then we want to be your home to build those communities of, of friends and other trusted business partners. And we're a place that we can help curate some of that, vet out folks so that you're interacting with the right types of peers, and then help you partner in the channel to execute against that, that multi-cloud challenge that I think is here and it's going to continue to accelerate for folks. What is your vision for technology? What do you think the big challenge is in 2023? Yeah, I mean, that's a great question. And I think it's really unification. And so when you think about the data, you had mentioned about Ingram Micro, right, providing value in different ways. I think that data aspect is going to be critical in how we can provide value to our customers. So if you think about the reach of Ingram Micro, we service an extreme amount of the channel. And I think it's, you know, we touch up to 90% of end customers of technology. So how do we look at ways that we can continue to use that data, use those analytics, provide insights to our partners, right? So they're not out there trying to figure out how do I create value and how do I go after, right? We're looking at that data and saying, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Reseller, you're selling to end customers who are in healthcare. Not only do I know that they tend to finance their technology solutions, but they haven't refreshed X in you know Y period. So this is a great opportunity for you to take that information and go after and create net new leads. So I think Ingram really being able to be that unification piece in the channel and power our customers is just a great opportunity to give everybody additional value you in their business. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. And it's, it is so true. You get out of your relationship with your business partners, what you put into it. If people want to know why, why did I have a different relationship with Inger Micro, my distributor, when I was a partner? It's because I put the time into it. Yep. And I built relationships. And if you are listening to this and 
thinking that the person you work with, that your distributor seems transactional, is, is talking about the middle of the transaction and not before the middle and after. I would challenge you to schedule time to, to have a business conversation. Outside of the deal that you need to sell an order or place today, please place that order. Yep, do that. That's a good idea. But then set up time to have a business conversation with really smart folks like you, uh, with their, you know, their sales rep. But there's a lot of great people here at Ingram that are are genuinely interested in helping the, their business grow. And what you just talked about is just one example of when I hear that, uh, it makes me proud to work here because I know we are offering something way different than just a purchasing experience. Uh, we are trying to help build businesses. And to piggyback on that relationship piece, right? Being in the finance organization and the credit organization, yeah. I think there's a lot of partners who aren't sure, right? I don't want to present my financial information because they may judge me or, right? But one of the best resources that you can have at Ingram Micro is a team of people across all different areas of our business who know people who look and feel just like you, because we've probably talked to a partner who's trying to accomplish certain things and we could provide you with recommendations on on how to get there. So taking that opportunity to be vulnerable and have that conversation with your relationships at Ingram Micro only sets you up for future success and amplifies where you can go on the journey. Yeah, 100% agree. The credit department at Ingram is not scary. Uh, they're in fact an ally and a partner, and the more they know you as a business, uh, not just a number, uh, the more that that's going to help when when the time is right and it's needed, and if you need fast turnaround or you you need uh, help to to execute on a deal. But you got to lay that groundwork and and spend the time and and put it into it. But I just challenge folks because I, I know and I've seen it. I've personally experienced what you can get back out of it with Inger Micro. Well, so Paul, I think that's really great insights, you know, that we shared today to help our partners really focus on their journey for 2023. Any last closing thoughts before we wrap it up? If you're struggling to put together bundles, want our assistance, you don't have certifications in every cloud provider and you need help on assessment migration and and post deployment uh, and deployment support, reach out to my solutions team. They're at DX Solutions. So D is in dog X solutions, all one word at ingermicro.com. And certainly uh, encourage partners to reach out to me on LinkedIn, drop me a note, uh, connect with me there. Uh, Melanie, how can they connect with you? Yeah, if you'd like to connect with us, contact financial solutions at ingramicro.com. Or like Paul mentioned, reach out on LinkedIn for those partners who are interested in having a discussion about our digital financial journey. Uh, you know, I love to get our partners insight. So please connect with me. Please share that feedback so that we can make sure that we deliver the best solution. So Paul, thank you so much for joining today and we appreciate your time. Thanks, Melanie. It's great to be here. Thank you. You've been listening to B2B Tech Talk by Ingram Micro. This episode was sponsored by Ingram Micro's Financial Solutions. B2B Tech Talk is a joint production between Sweetfish Media and Ingram Micro. To listen to this episode and many others, visit ingrammicro.com.